Okay, this question, here, here's what gives me big hints on this one, okay? I have a point here, which is a temperature and a pressure. Benzaldehyde, that's irrelevant pretty much in this question. I have a boiling point, and I want the vapor pressure at another temperature. By the way, the boiling point happens at what pressure? Yeah, you need to remember that. If it says boiling point or normal boiling point, we're assuming you know that it's at one atmosphere. Okay? So that part you need to remember. They give us another point and they ask about the vapor pressure. This is a major, major hint when you have multiple temperatures, multiple pressures, and it says either boiling point or vapor pressure or both. In this case, it said both of them. You're going to use this equation. Uh, it's the Cloche's clap. that one in any sort of question that is remotely resembling with a lot of vapor pressure. There's more than one point. Okay? So, here's the problem. This is going to be a slightly more involved one for a couple reasons. One is, so we want the final vapor pressure here. Maybe I'll make a little table. P, T. We actually are given three points. Uh, which is the confusing things here. So, uh, we have the boiling point information, that's one atmosphere and 179 T. We'll make a little table, see what information we've given. We have the critical point, which is at 45.9 and 422. And the vapor pressure at 100. We don't know that first, so we really want to know this. That's what we want to know. We're given two points. There's a specific reason why we're given those two points. Usually in a question, they give you delta H. In this question, they did not. So you actually have to use this equation twice. You're going to take the two points that you know, these two, and your only unknown will be delta H. Then you're going to pick either one of these points, it doesn't matter, and use it in conjunction with the third point to find your pressure. Okay, so that's how this will sort of go. So in the first question, uh, I'll just use this red and show you how I'd plug in. It really doesn't matter what's two and what's one here, it's irrelevant. So, but we're going to use these two and again solve for delta H. So P2, we'll just go 45.9. P1, we'll go 1, 1 atmosphere, I'm just falling from the table. Uh, T1, that's going to be 179 plus 273, because i got to change it to Kelvin. If it's multiplication or division, it must be in Kelvin. Uh, T2 is 422 plus 273. R... That's always going to be the same. That's a constant. It'll be given on the back of your test. You just need to know which R it is. And it's that R right there because that one's in units of energy. So you can see your only unknown right now is that one, delta H. So you solve for that. In this case, at least with these numbers, uh, your text gets 41.2 kilojoules per mole. So it'll get delta H equals 41.2 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so that's if you solve here. Make sure you use your calculator and you can actually do that. Now, I'm going to erase some of this because we're not finished with the problem yet. We still haven't found the vapor pressure at this point. That's what we're looking for. So, we'll erase some of this. We'll write the equation again, natural log P2 over P1 Okay? So now, uh, we know delta H. Check. We know delta H is this. 
it's not going to change ever. Once you know it, it's not going to change. R is not going to change. That's still the ideal gas law constant. But we have to decide, we're going to use 3. Which one of the other two points do you want to use also? The first one you said? Okay. You can try it also with the second one. You better get the same answer. So we're going to use these two right here. Okay? So now watch how this is going to work. Uh, and I'll just call it for E, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Gone. I'll call this point 2, just for ease. So now there's a 1 and a 2. P2. This is the one, this is what we don't know. P2. P1, that's 1. Just following from the table. T1. 179, again, you're doing division, so you've got to add 273. And then T2 is 100, you're doing division, so you've got to add 273. Uh, so, your book got 0 0.0981. Okay? So make sure you can use your calculator and do this. That's going to be a difficult part on the exam for most students.